Hey SD fans, welcome back to the Scuba Diver YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about dive equipment, or specifically what you should buy first as you begin to assemble your own collection of dive gear. Now I've been diving for over 35 years and mining all those years of experience, I'll tell you what I consider the three key pieces of diving equipment that you should be looking to purchase first. And make sure you watch until the end as I'll let you know an extra item of gear that I strongly believe should be in every diver's kit bag, as one day it could potentially save your life. Obviously, you can rent an entire scuba setup when you go away on holiday, but it has to be said, nothing beats owning your own equipment for many reasons. You know it's been looked after, you know it's been serviced regularly, you know how it works and operates, and you're comfortable with it in the water. Plus, in this time of COVID-19, you know you're the only one who has used it. However, most people do not generally go out and buy everything they need in one fell swoop. So what should you buy first? I would always suggest you go for the best quality you can afford, as if you buy something too entry level, you will soon outgrow it. Believe me, we've all done it. You will then end up having to buy the same product again, so buy once, buy wisely. My first purchase would be a mask. Once you have a comfortable mask that fits you well, that doesn't leak, everything becomes easier. You're less stressed underwater, you can see clearly, and you'll just enjoy your dives more. A good mask is not a massive investment compared with other items of scuba kit, it has to be said, but it's undoubtedly one of the most important. I know people who are diving masks they've had for 15 or 20 years. So choose carefully, take your time, and get one that fits you like a glove for your face. Next up, I would buy a dive computer. Lots of people say a BCD or a regulator, but to me, a dive computer should be higher up the list. Why? If you rent a dive computer every time you go away diving, you never know what you're going to get. You could get a different brand, you could get a different model. Every trip, you'll be trying to learn how the computer works, and you will not be getting the full potential out of it. Once you have your own dive computer, you can learn how it works, discover all of its functions, get to know the menu, the navigation, become familiar with the screen display, and so on. Being able to use your dive computer to its full potential will give you longer, more enjoyable dives and hopefully keep you safer as well. Computers have come down a lot in price, it has to be said, but at the same time, you get far more for your money. So I would suggest going for something that can handle basic recreational dives, but also has the capabilities to deal with multiple nitrox mixes and full decompression. You might never utilize all of its abilities, but it's good to have them if your diving does grow to this level rather than be left with a dive computer that doesn't meet your requirements a few years down the line. It's just frustrating. The third purchase I would say is a BCD. Whether you go for a traditional jacket style BCD or opt for a rear inflate or back plate and wing setup, the same principle applies. You can get used to the fit and feel. You can adjust it to your body shape and you can get to grips with the power inflator and the dump valves so that controlling your buoyancy becomes second nature. Again, if you are renting BCDs, there could be different brands and models each time. So you'll faff about for several dives, getting used to whatever you are wearing. Very frustrating again. After this, I'd say it's down more to budget and how much money you've got to spend at that particular time. Having your own regulator, fins, wetsuits, etc. will all help to make you a more relaxed, happier diver. But as to the order of purchase, I would not say it's as vital as the mask, dive computer and BCD in my opinion. These three items will do so much to make your dives a more enjoyable experience. And if you buy wisely, they will serve you for a very long time as you progress through your diving career. One caveat, if you regularly dive in cold waters, my third purchase would be a dry suit. A well-fitted dry suit is so much nicer to use, far safer and will keep you toasty warm. And you'll enjoy your cold water dives far more if you are not wet and chilly. And from a safety point of view, buy yourself a delayed surface marker boy and a reel or a spool. These will be one of the cheaper items of dive kit you could buy, but they could undoubtedly save your life. Check out our video here about liverboards diving 
and DSMBs and why they are so vital. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that bell so you get notification for all of our new videos. As always, if you are going diving in the coming days, enjoy yourself and stay safe. Thank you.